Welcome back to yet another presentation from Electronics India. In this video, we'll see a quick demo of a vending machine. So, the idea is this type of vending machine with two different motors, uh, which can dispense two different products. So, you can have one product here and one product here. So, instead of this coin based mechanism, we'll use a UPI based mechanism. And probably we'll try to implement something at lower cost. So when we say at a cheaper cost, the machine cost would be less, but there are other costs associated with because you have to get a static Q QR, you have to get API licenses and all those things. So that will cost you uh, tens of thousands, but th that is once per account. So once you have the account, you can just have as many machines as you want. So the problem with this type of uh, coin based machine is like they do not have any mechanism to re return back you the change. So like forget about having an odd number, let's say 30 rupees or like that. It is very difficult to use this kind of machine for those scenarios generally these are used when you have to just insert a single coin single 5 rupee coin like that because 10 rupees coins are like very rare these days so let's just take a simple example the product cost 12 rupees and you thought like you have a 5 rupee coin and you have like 2 2 rupees 3 coins so it will become 11 rupees and you have a 1 rupee coin so it will become 12 rupees so you so as per you you have the required amount now you go and insert the 5 rupee coin the 5 rupee coin is accepted now you go and insert the 2 2 rupees coin the 2 2 rupee coin is accepted now you go and insert the 1 rupee coin the 1 rupee coin is rejected because like yeah, the 5 rupee coin there are so many variation 2 rupee coin there are so many variation 1 rupee coin there are so many variation the machine generally can recognize only up to 6 different coins and let's say you have the very old, old 1 rupee coin that is still legal but the problem is this machine will not understand and now you had already paid 11 rupees but there is no way to get that 11 rupee refund it is waiting for you to insert one more rupee but you don't have any other coin now now your 11 rupees has just gone so consider the amount of frustration the customer will have so again we already discuss uh, about the static qr base uh, machine so one of the problem is this kind of uh, qr code that is not a UPI code so you need to have a PTM app only to use this kind of machine so uh, for example like most of the people will have a SBI app so they will not be able to use or let's say now phone pay is so much popular so if you are trying phone pay you will not be able to use but let's say I generally prefer Google uh, pay so I will not be able to use this kind of machine even if there is a static uh, UPI based QR code like these kind of machine will simply tell you that receive 12 rupees from this number but the problem is there is no way to identify who has paid when they have paid and what is the required amount they are supposed to pay so it just like that somebody somewhere some time ago has paid some amount there are so many variables like somebody somewhere some time ago paid some amount so, so there is no way to define like i can accept only 5 rupees i can accept only 12 rupees there is no way to define like who can pay anybody can just scan and like initiate a transaction uh, like you can have a like they can pay it after 10 minutes 
20 minutes also once they have scanned the QR code and similarly like the transaction can take time and let's say you had scanned the code you had paid the amount the money got detected from your bank but the problem is uh, somewhere in the UK it got delayed it happens like a lot of times with me like I paid to the vendor using Google Pay but my HDFC bank has delayed it and the money got de deducted but the vendor has not received similarly things will happen the same way with the machines also I had paid from my bank account but the machine has not received now I'm simply stuck like I don't have any other way so I will simply move I cannot stand in front of the machine forever so let's say I waited for two minutes I left now after five minutes the machine has received the notification and it has dispensed the product but there is nobody to collect that product I was there five minutes back but I had already left but the machine has received a notification just now so you can like simply pay whenever you want like the machine will not differentiate like this transition was initiated five minutes back or ten minutes back so in the case of static uh, UPI code there is no way to identify like when was the transition initiated you are not initiating any transition you are simply scanning and doing the payment and the payment and the machine can receive the payment after one hour also as per the machine you had just now paid but the payment was done one hour back so these all issues are there with the static QR based systems so we had tried to de design any kind of system that do not have all these deficiencies which are found in the products currently available in the market so let's just see a quick demo so so this is our vending machine demo so this is the microcontroller then you have three status LED the first one is select your product the second one is pay for your product and the third one is collect your product once it is dispensed so you can connect up to two motors for simplicity I have uh, connected only a single motor but you can connect one more motor now for each product you have a one button to select the product so this is for product 1 and this is for product 2 so you can have like multiple products like uh, hand sanitizer and like mask or uh, different sizes of sanitary pads or, or like uh, one rack of milk and one rack of curd depends upon the use case so when you select this product it basically initiate a transaction and once the transaction is initiated it will ask you to pay so once you press this button it will initiate a transaction and it will ask you to pay so once you pay using this static QR code so once you pay using this static QR code the vending machine motor will spin and it will dispense a product and once it dispenses the product it will ask you to collect that product once you have collected that product after a few seconds after 10 15 seconds it will again reset and will move and will move again back to select your product the benefit of using this mechanism like select your product and then uh, pay for the product and then collect for your pro product instead of like simply showing a QR code and like accept payment and simply dispenses you are initiating a transaction so if the button is not showing like uh, pay for your pr product and if you do any product it will be automatically refunded so there is a transaction ID associated with each transaction and using that you can actually refund it automatically if let's say the product is not dispensed due to any mechanical failure let's say the user has uh, provided wrong amount 
so every transaction will have uh, its associated time period um, like you can only pay within the configured time so here it is three minutes so let's say if you pay it after three minutes the transaction is automatically timed out and and even if you pay you will automatically get a refund so again each, each transaction has a fixed amount so let's say he, here in this example we have configured it as five rupees but let's say somebody pays like four rupees fifty pesa or something the transaction is automatically cancelled and the money will be automatically refunded so here like using a transaction we are explicitly stating that only so here using the transaction id we are explicitly stating that this is the transaction owner this is the transaction time frame within which it need to be completed and this is the transaction amount that we are expecting it to receive so unlike those static qr pay system where you simply scan and pay and you will uh, receive a voice message like receive 10 rupees from this 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 number or like this paytm kind of uh, system where you simply scan the code and like um, the machine is dispensing there you ha actually have no way to identify like who initiated the transaction when was the transaction expected to complete and what was the amount the transaction was set for for example like uh, the amount is 5 rupees but if you had paid 4 rupees 50 paisa the transaction will succeed in that case in your code you will check and like uh, you will not dispense the product but there is no automatic refund for the customer let's say because of any issue the customer uh, enter wrong amount so now the onus comes on you to refund back to the customer in that case but here in the transaction based system the onus is on the bank to actually validate the transaction that the amount is matching or not whether the transaction is completed within that time frame so like uh, i had explained in previous video also like the importance of time time frame so many times it happens like i scan the code using google i paid it money get deducted from my uh, account but the receiving party receives a message after like few hours so in the case of vending machine let's say you paid it the money got detected from your bank but the transaction the upi transaction somewhere got stuck and the machine received let's say notification even let's say after five minutes but i might have left that vending machine and now it has received that notification and it has dispensed the product but there is nobody to collect that product but in the case of transaction based system you are explicitly stating that if the transaction is not receiving within that time frame the transaction will get uh, automatically expired and any amount paid will be automatically refunded so let's just see a quick demo so this is the static qr code which the customer need to scan and currently it is on select your product so i only have one motor so i'll just select the product one so once i select the product one it will create a transaction once it has created a transaction it will move to pay for your product so now i'll just scan the qr offline and just do the payment so i'll just do the payment as you can see if the payment is received and the motor is spinning once it does a one complete round it will move to collect your product so it, this motor has turned one complete rotation and it has moved to collect your product and after a few seconds it will automatically 
reset it to select your product so again the new customer can come and again the same workflow will happen like they can select the product it will create a transaction and it will ask you to pay if you do not pay within the time frame it will anyway automatically reset it back to select your product so i can c connect like uh, i2c lcd and all those things but like this blinking led and with the instruction printed on the machine will grab the user focus much better than a lcd or something you can connect a coin acceptor machine also but like doesn't make any sense because like those coin acceptor machine generally are like used for like uh, co collecting single coins or like just collecting a one or two coins but here using this upi mechanism you can sell any product like you can dispense a milk packet um, which cost like uh, 20 rupees so instead of like finding 20 rupees coin upi is much better you can have like uh, paper currency acceptor also but then those systems are not very popular so i hope you like this video thanks for watching and have a nice day